what's going on? Tyler here with Boost Junkie Media and today I wanted to bring you guys a video uh, for several reasons. I wanted to kind of do a follow up from my last video uh, about the clutch install and today with the clutch install what I want to do is I kind of want to drive the car around and just give you guys a, a little synopsis of how the car feels. Uh, the clutch has been in the car now for a couple weeks and I've put quite a few miles on it, probably three or four hundred miles so far uh, during the break-in period and I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about that uh, driving action. Um, also today we're going to try to do um, some photography stuff to see maybe get a little bit of drone footage in there and also uh, I need to run out to the store I need to pick up uh, another battery and battery pack or so for for the GoPro. Uh, I've been used, doing everything with one battery and it is kind of challenging to try to keep that one battery always charged. Um, but first thing what I want to do is, um, in the last video I mentioned my buddy Josh, he runs a YouTube channel Underground Garage, I wanted to go ahead and give him a shout out, he uh, gave me this pretty awesome uh, shirt here, so give him a shout out, go check out his channel, uh, he's working on an awesome project and should be some upcoming footage about that hopefully uh, on his channel obviously and some on my channel. Um, without further ado though I wanted to uh, go ahead and give you guys a cold start. Alright, now that we got the cold start in there, next thing I want to do is go ahead and do a uh, car wash. Uh, the car has not been washed in a couple weeks, it's a little bit dirty, so hopefully you enjoy this nice time lapse. Alright guys, well I'm back, uh, that was quick I know, and uh, basically I ran into a little issue while trying to wash the car. Um, my wife left the water on, on our faucet outside, and of course it's about 40 degrees today, maybe a little, maybe a little cooler actually right now in the shade and my hose and awesome that's a sweet noise right there uh, but basically my hose is frozen so there will be no manual washing of the car today so cool thanks wife um, <laughs> so we'll have to run it through an automatic car wash as much as I don't like to do that I like to do it myself I don't have any other option for today all right so yeah let's take a ride <laughs> Driving character. 
characteristics of the clutch. And overall, it is, it's a pretty good drive. Uh, it is definitely, I've heard a lot of people say that the, the pedal feels stock and the clutch does not feel stock. And while the effort of the, the pedal press is very stock-like, I would say it is definitely a little bit stiffer than stock. And then the thing that I was actually most surprised about was, I, like I said, everyone kind of made it sound like that it, the car drives stock. To me, it does not drive 100% stock. Um, there is just a little bit of uh, chatter. Um, and from what I've, I've talked to a couple other people and they have the same thing with the RXT. And it's not super bad. It's only noticeable at certain uh, periods when you're taking off, like right as you're releasing the clutch and you're at that friction point between the, the clutch and the pressure plate and the, and the flywheel and everything, if you don't have enough throttle, it'll, uh, it'll want to shatter just, just slightly, just like one, like one little pop, one little hop of chatter. Um, it actually does help if you rev the car up a little bit more to keep it from doing that. But um, I was just surprised at that. And I know it's a thousand horsepower clutch and it's, you know, meant to take an abuse and, and take a lot of horsepower and I understand that there's always trade-offs to uh, trying to make horsepower and, and a lot of times those trade-offs are drivability so I'm not you know I'm not not aware of that I'm obviously very aware of that um, but I guess just based on the feedback that I had heard from other people was that this clutch I always heard was like a stock clutch and, and that's just not the case um, and maybe other people's experiences are a little bit different than mine like I said, I, I've talked to a couple other people that have the RXT and they, they kind of said the same thing. Um, so I feel like it's probably an RXT issue. Um, well, not issue, but an RXT characteristic, we'll say, of this particular clutch. So, yeah. So, but overall, clutch clutch feels good. Um, no, no major issues. Uh, I, I definitely like having, you know, knowing that I have a, a, a nice heavy-duty clutch now. Worry about it slipping and worry about um, you know, having any issues hopefully down the road. So that's definitely a, a good thing about the clutch. Um, yeah. We just got here, we just pulled into Best Buy. Let's go take a look and see what they got. All right, here we go. Batteries and battery packs. Well, I think I've got what I came for. A extra battery and charger and just an extra battery on top of it. So that'll give me three batteries now with the GoPro.
I think that's going to wrap this video up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed our little adventure to Best Buy to get the battery pack stuff and the little talk we had about the clutch. Uh, so just as I said, you know, I, I love the clutch. It's a great clutch. Uh, it's just not quite what um, what I read that people said it was. It is definitely a, a heavy duty, you know, aftermarket clutch, which is to be expected. So uh, if you guys liked the video, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up on this video and any of the videos you like and shoot me a comment Don't be afraid to ask me some questions. Let me know, you know what you guys like and don't like and uh, Yeah, I'll try to uh, please everybody as much as I can. All right, so yeah, we'll catch you guys around <laughs>